Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. It's uh, kind of interesting when you get something different. I get sent a lot of products to review, you can imagine. And every now and then you get something that is very unique. And today I have for you a product that is, uh, in my mind, truly unique in the way they've combined these different uh, features. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So what I'm holding here is a light from uh, the same company that provided me with that LED that I have on the aquarium behind me here, and that is uh, Best Fish. And this is a very interesting setup in that it is a submersible light, and it has some suction cups that you go ahead and attach to the inside of the, of the aquarium, and, and then it has an airline, an airline connection right, right here where you can run an airline hose and then it has outlets all along the bottom here. I'm not sure if you can see them in the light there. There are little holes, little outlets all along there. And so you'll get a bubbler, a sort of bubble wall and, and a light at the same time. They give you a, a standard control and you can uh, you hold it down for three seconds, and there you go. So this light is on, not sure if you can really see that it's on. And, but you don't need to use this control because they provide you with this really nice, nice remote control. And why bother with that little hand, hand control thing where you can use this? But let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and get it into the aquarium and test it under the water and, and put a, uh, and, and let's put a, uh, an airline onto it and let's see how it looks with bubbles. Let's put it into the 20 gallon tall and, and see what we think. So here it is installed on the 20 tall and the way I've, I've installed it against the back there gives the fish a bit of a, of a backlit look, which is kind of pretty. A little romantic, maybe they're gonna breed more now. Um, I'll play a little music, but uh, all kidding aside, it's uh, it's kind of an odd way to uh, to light the tank. I, I think I maybe would have preferred attaching it to a glass lid and hanging it that way, since uh, even if the suction cups were to fail and it fell into the water, it wouldn't matter since it is a waterproof unit. The pump I'm using is not super strong and the new hosing provided by the company had a lot of kinks in it, and the light is about as long as the back of the tank, and so it's kinking up a bit, so I'm not getting a lot of bubble action, which is fine because I've got a sponge filter in there anyway. But here you can see the, um, if you wanna go red, see the red light there, or you can go green, blue, yellows, light blues, with a little bit of green in it, a brighter yellow, like a sun, almost like a sunrise, a darker green, pinks and purples, just a whole variety of, uh, of colors. And um, you can flash if you want and take it through the color spectrum. I don't know why you'd wanna do that to your fish. It'd be like they had fallen into some sort of late 1970, early 80 disco or something. So uh, I'd rather go with just white. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem to allow you to add a little bit more of something. For example, if I want to add a little red to this white, let's say, and I push red, I'm just going to get all red, so white, or all green, or all blue. So it doesn't give you the kind of color flexibility that you get with the, uh, the LED, the LED light from, uh, from Best Fish, which I, which I did a review on. Here's a fade button, 
and the fade button lets you sort of transition slowly from color to color. And again, I don't know, I just don't think that would be very comfortable for the fish, maybe even a little bit confusing for them, but definitely not as confusing as, uh, as that flash mode, which I call disco mode. <laughs> So at any rate, I give this a, a light, uh, I would say probably three and a half, three and a half stars overall. I think it's, uh, it kind of tilts a little bit into the realm of gimmick, gimmick light, as opposed to just a basic, a basic light uh, doing its job, right? Just, just really just lighting the fish. I did follow the advice of one of you who uh, saw this light in a live stream and suggested that I attach it to the front. And so I took it off the back of the tank and moved it right here onto the front of the tank, facing in toward the tank. And I will say, in all fairness, that does do a better job of lighting the tank. You can't see the bubbles, but the bubbles are occurring here along the top of the, uh, of the aquarium. So that, that does look a little bit better, still uh, sort of underlit for my taste. So, but instead of maybe three stars, I guess we can give the, uh, give the light three and a half stars. Also in the time uh, between filming these two episodes, the fish went and had even more fry. You can see even more of the, uh, of the babies if you look close. Right. Not even sure if you can make him out, but there he is. Little teeny little guy right there on top of the wood. So there's another batch of fry that appeared in this tank. So the tank itself is certainly very healthy. But that light, even when faced back toward the aquarium and doing an obviously better job than it was placed at the back and lit forward. So I'd say I'd give it maybe three and a half. And as I mentioned before, it's certainly a, an interesting novelty or sort of gimmick light, but uh, beyond that, uh, for a serious fish keeper, and certainly when compared to the kind of lighting that I like to see in tanks more, more along the, that line, or if you go over here into the beta tank, this is more my idea of what tank, tank lighting should be doing, you know, potentially be doing, giving you a real nice clean look at what it is that's going on inside the aquarium. This other option is just a little bit too dim for me. Certainly, if you've used a light like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear. And again, we'll talk about this and a whole lot more at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And that is on Saturday at 11 a.m. And if you'd like to support the channel, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let YouTube know that something good's going on. And let's get the channel up over 50,000 subscribers. Now, I noticed that the male, the male here has uh, gone kind of crazy and is pursuing the female relentlessly. So who knows, maybe this light uh, does encourage breeding. I'm gonna see if I can find one of my old Barry White records and play that as well. So, uh, and uh, if you'd like to support the channel further, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang and uh, become a monthly, a monthly channel supporter through Patreon. Thank you, my friends. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's it for me. I'll see you, I guess, over at the disco.